Cisco Prime Land Management Solution, or LMS, is offered as part of Cisco Prime Infrastructure. It delivers powerful network lifecycle management simplifying the configuration, compliance, monitoring, troubleshooting, and administration of Cisco networks. The following video will describe how to deploy network devices with Cisco Prime LMS. This includes managing the configuration archive, comparing configurations, using compliance templates, using easy deploy templates, and performing software version control. Let's begin. This first module describes how to manage the configuration archive. Navigate to Admin, Collection Settings, and click on Config. Then click on Config Collection Settings to set up a collection schedule. The periodic polling compares the timestamp in the archive against the network device to determine if a change has occurred. Because this method uses less network resources, I'm going to configure the polling to occur on a daily basis in this example. Click Apply to save your changes. The periodic collection downloads all of the configurations in the network and then compares them for changes. This consumes much more network resources, so I'm configuring the collection to occur on a weekly basis in this example. Once again, don't forget to click OK and then click Apply to save your changes. These configuration settings are not enabled by default, so it is important that you configure a schedule to keep the configuration archive up to date. Navigate to Configuration, Configuration Archive, and click on Summary to view the status of the last collection. You can retry failed devices by checking the box and clicking the Sync Archive button. Navigate to Configuration, Configuration Archive, and click on Synchronization to manually create a Sync Archive job. From the Device Selector, select the devices that you want to import configurations from. You can also fetch the Startup Config while you're at it. After you enter a job description, click Submit to launch the job. This module describes how to compare configurations. Navigate to Configuration, Compliance, and click on Out of Sync Summary to view a list of devices where running and startup configurations do not agree. You can click on the Diff magnifying glass to compare the configurations. Click Diff Only to view the changes only. You can also launch a batch job which will copy the running configs to startup configs. Select all the devices and click Sync on Device. After you enter a job description, click the Submit button to launch the job. Navigate to Configuration, Configuration Archive, Views, and click on Version Summary to view different configuration versions on a given device. From the Device Selector, choose a device and then click OK. The Configuration Version Summary report shows the startup, the running, the latest config, latest one, and latest two. Click on the Diff magnifying glass to view the changes between two configs. Blue text represents commands that have either been added or removed, and the red text represents commands that have been modified. Navigate to Configuration, Configuration Archive, and click on Compare Configs. This screen provides several options for comparing two configurations. In this example, I'm going to click two versions of the same device and click Compare. From the Device Selector, choose the desired device and then click Next. From the first screen, I'll choose the newest configuration and click Next. Then I'll choose the oldest configuration and click Finish. You can compare any two configurations as long as they're in the archive. This module describes how to use compliance templates. These templates use regular expressions which can enforce a configuration policy. Navigate to Configuration, Compliance, Baseline Compliance, and click on Templates. From this screen, click Create. In this example, I am going to create a basic template that will verify some of the SNMP commands. After selecting devices from the Device Selector, click Next. In the Compliance block, 
a plus in front of the command indicates that it should exist. A minus in front of the command indicates the command should not exist in the configuration. Here I'm trying to verify that the SNMP location is Irvine and that public and private are not community strings. Click Finish to create the template. From the navigator, I am going to click on Compliance Check. I will then choose the template that I just created and click Compliance Check. From the Device Selector, I'm going to choose the devices in the network that I want to run the Compliance Check on. When ready, click Next. On the Job Details screen, you have the option to check the compliance and deploy the commands if you're comfortable with your regular expressions. If not, then just click Next to check compliance only. On the Job Work Order screen, you can scroll down to view the compliance commands that are going to be run against the chosen devices. When you are ready, click Finish to run the compliance check. From the navigator, click on Jobs to check the status of the compliance check. In this example, 11 out of 17 devices are compliant. You can drill down into the details of the compliance check job and view the commands of the non-compliant devices. This module describes how to use the Easy Deploy templates. Navigate to Configuration, Tools, Template Center and click on Import. Click the provided link to download Easy Deploy templates from Cisco.com. You must be logged in with a valid user account to download templates. Choose the desired template and click Download. The XML formatted Easy Deploy templates provide a set of more commonly used basic and advanced Cisco IOS software configuration commands that can be applied to one or more devices residing in the network. Click on the Browse button and look for the downloaded Easy Deploy template. When you find it, click Open and then click Finish. Click OK to continue. From the navigator, click Deploy to deploy the Easy Deploy template. From the Template Selector, choose the template that you downloaded from Cisco.com and click Next. The Device Selector will only display the devices that are defined in this template. Click Next. The Easy Deploy template in this example is for a 2960 series switch. Complete the desired parameters or click the Skip This Section checkbox. Easy Deploy templates are based on Cisco best practices and are designed to make the deployment of Cisco devices easier and more error proof. This substantially reduces the amount of time it takes to get devices operational. After you have configured the commands in the template, click Next. If you don't have ad hoc commands, click Next and complete the job scheduler options. You have the ability to click Preview CLI to verify the commands that are going to be deployed, and then click Finish. You can see the results of the deployment by viewing the details in the Template Center Jobs queue. This module describes how to perform software version control. Navigate to Configuration, Tools, Software Image Management and click on Software Synchronization. This report shows software images in the network that have not been imported into LMS. In the navigator, click Software Repository to add software images into LMS. Click on the Add button. And in this example, we are going to perform a network baseline. We will grab software images from the network devices. Click Next. On this screen, it will show you what images are out in the network. If multiple devices are in there with the same image, only one will be retrieved. Click Next. Fill in the job description information and click Next. Review the work order and then click Finish to import software images.
In this next example, we are going to import software images directly from Cisco.com. You must enter a valid Cisco.com user account in order to download images. From the device selector, choose a desired device from the inventory and click Next. From the next screen, choose your device from the Devices slash Platforms window. Then choose the version followed by the feature subset. You can choose multiple images using this method. When you are ready, then click Next. This screen will show you if you have enough memory on your network device to support the desired images. Click Next. On the Job Control Information screen, provide a job description and when you're ready, click Next. Finally, click Finish on the Work Order screen to download the desired software images from Cisco. We are now ready for a software upgrade. Click Software Distribution and let's distribute by Device Basic. Click Go. You can choose one or more devices from the device selector. When you're ready, click Next. LMS checks the current image on the device and recommends a suitable image and the appropriate image storage for distribution on the device. Click Next. The selected image and storage media is validated and verified for dependencies and requirements. Click Next. When completing the job schedule, there are various options that you can choose from, including Reboot immediately after downloading. When you're ready, click Next. Finally, after you have reviewed the work order, click Finish to launch the software upgrade. This concludes the How to Deploy Network Devices video. In this video, we covered managing the configuration archive, comparing configurations, using compliance templates, using easy deploy templates, and performing software version control. For more information on network management, go to Partner Central at cisco.com slash go slash partner nm.